Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Uh, this webinar is to introduce the Curie Compliance Documentation, which is a uh, program for your IT department to perform the CMMC and 8171 requirements uh, as efficiently as we can figure out how to do. So let's uh, let's talk about it a little bit. So we started developing, we at Cary, we started developing this, um, this program of documentation, policies, procedures, databases, forms, uh, way back in 2020, because we ourselves needed to be CMMC compliant and to pass a CMMC assessment by the DoD. And um, I think that you all can uh, appreciate the sentiment that nobody likes to do documentation for documentation's sake. Um, it's not, it's not, not a whole lot of people's cup of tea um, to, you know, just create policies just to have policies, right? Uh, what we're actually doing here is we're trying to figure out how to protect CUI and keep your company running. Um, the nice thing about 8171 and CMMC is uh, if you do it, you actually make a lot of strides towards protecting your company from ransomware or other uh, cyber attacks. Um, getting the correct people, whether that be a high level cybersecurity person or um, the junior IT person to be doing the correct tasks, right? And, and trying to figure out how we can move uh, stuff to the appropriate level so that you're not paying an expensive person to do stuff that your IT, uh, your regular sysadmin should be able to do. For compliance, you need to do specific tasks. We figured out which ones they are and uh, how long you need to, um, how often you need to do them. And we gave you a whole bunch of procedures, uh, just in time instructions, forms that, um, you know, if, if you're going through, you're trying to onboard a new person, uh, it's not going to let you go through that form without filling in the information that's required uh, to show that you are doing proper vetting and authorization. Uh, and then finally, you need to make sure that uh, if you're messing up, you know, maybe somebody's forgetting to do a task that they need to do, or maybe, um, you know, you're not you're not filling out the information correctly. This program needs to be able to find and correct those issues. And we developed the KCD to do all that. So. <clears throat> You know, we are uh, CMMC assessors. We've assessed uh, a full handful of companies now for um, joint surveillance, and we have seen a lot of uh, bad documentation. Uh, documentation that does not help companies pass their assessment. Uh, so, you know, we, uh, here we've listed off a few things that you really want your, your documentation to be able to do for you. Um, you want just-in-time instructions wherever possible. You don't want a book of policies sitting in a corner. That's not gonna do anyone any good. Um, I guarantee that if you tell your HR person that they need uh, to perfectly execute 300 steps on page 88 of your procedures, a uh, booklet that they're not going to get it done correctly, right? So we we really put a lot of thought into this um, on how we can make this as easy as possible while still uh, making sure that you can pass your CMC assessment. So way back in 2020, we realized um, that uh, we could structure this program uh, with two basic types of tasks. 
uh, there's security controls, right? The 800-171 requirements. There's security controls that when you implement them correctly, they just keep working, okay? For example, if you set up your firewall and you put together all those access control lists properly, they're just gonna keep working, okay? It is extremely unlikely that tomorrow your firewall is going to just decide to stop blocking traffic. Um, so what you do for those is you have a world-class change management process, uh, and that makes sure that when your IT team uh, puts out a new system or modifies a system, that they put it out correctly, right? Meeting all the security requirements with all the documentation, evidence showing that they that they did it. Um, and then you can pretty much just trust that that's good, right? And of course, if something breaks, something breaks, but uh, you can save a lot of effort by doing it correctly the first time using strong change management uh, than doing, you know, a, a incorrect implementation and then finding out it's wrong. And now you're trying to apply security to production to production environments, and that is not good at all, right? Uh, and then we identified the other half of secure security requirements that do fail on their time. This is stuff like uh, systems needing to be patched um, or people, uh, maybe they change their roles over time and you need to go in and do those reviews to make sure that they've got the appropriate permissions. Uh, and for that, what we put together is a checklist, scheduled tasks to make sure that uh, each of those things is checked regularly uh, as appropriate, right? So not more than needed um, so that you are on top of each of these items and maintaining compliance over time at 100%. Uh, so this is just a quick view of all of the CMMC requirements that uh, they basically stay good if you do them correctly on the first try. So this is change management. And then here are the requirements in CMMC that you do need to take action over time to continue. Um, and, uh, you know, some of these are weekly. Some of these are uh, things you can check quarterly. And uh, some of them you can even just push off until an annual, right? And uh, we've got recommended schedules for each of these tasks. Okay, so let's actually look at this KCD program and um, give you some ideas of what, what's going on here. So first off, when you purchase the KCD, we're gonna give you an account to our website and you're going to be able to get to this screen. And uh, up here is the KCD program. We have all the templates up here for you to download. And then we also have a training library. Um, let me show you before, okay, before I go off on that, down here, you probably are wondering what is going on with this reference architecture. That is a different product that we offer. It's instructions for a DIY uh, enclave that is CMMC compliant. Um, and, uh, but right now we're talking about the KCD. So hold off for a different webinar on that one. Uh, so first off, before I get into the templates, let me just show you this training library because we're pretty proud of it. Uh, we have recorded trainings for basically every part of the KCD um, that's talking about uh, how to do the core tasks, how to do uh, your separation of responsibilities, uh, separation of duties, which is a huge problem that a lot of companies have if they're small. Um, we give you instructions about how to do your scoping. 
how to do each of those tasks that I was talking about that you need to perform on schedule to maintain compliance. Uh, we talk about creating your uh, databases, um, which is where you're going to be doing a lot of record keeping, and we provide you instructions for that, as well as the um, the, the, the definitions for the for the databases. Instructions on how to do correct change management, correct access management, and uh, and then we have monthly webinars. So um, we've been doing these webinars since the KCD was released back in June 2023. Uh, and they are, you know, questions from our clients, right? So whatever is really bugging people, what, what they're having issues with. Uh, we get a lot of questions about um, BYOD and physical security, for example. Uh, so these are hours and hours of training. And then Finally, we also release monthly newsletters, which are a combination of what's new in the KCD, right? If we found out that um, there's a new trend in the way the DOD is assessing companies or a new requirement that comes out, for example, the FedRAMP equivalency, uh, we talk about those in these newsletters and give you a heads up. Um, and then there's also generally a practice spotlight um, on one of the requirements where we really deep dive and talk about uh, how you can implement that in your company. So lots of support. Um, and then finally, uh, to, to top it off, uh, when you buy the KCD as a, as a subscriber, uh, you get three free check-ins with us and you can just schedule those on demand and ask us anything about CMMC. So if you've got uh, some scoping issue that you've been fighting about internally for the last year, um, use that, that check-in and uh, get a assessor's opinion who's been through lots of actual assessments. And we've seen what has been able to pass. We, we can probably solve your issue right there. Now, we go back to the templates. Uh, this is what it looks like when you uh, get to the download screen and uh, you'll see that we have been updating things over time when needed. Um, we've got definitions for your databases. If you use SharePoint, you can actually import uh, each of these databases to create your own IT department um, record keeping location. We've got the various policies. Um, you'll note, so let me just show you this. Please note that the policies don't go line by line with the security uh, families in AHER 171 because we think that's silly. Um, if, if we did that, we would have a policy that uh, talks about how you onboard users and then also talks about how you control. Uh, mobile devices and your Wi-Fi in the same policy, right? Because that's the way NIST put together a whole bunch of random controls into the AC family. Um, instead, what we did was we wrote the policies to make sense to an IT department person. So access management, that's how you get your users onboarded. Um, audit management, that's how you do audit, of course. Um, we've got uh, risk assessment, that's related to self-assessments, assessing risk, uh, vendor um, selection. Uh, and then we've got our vulnerability and patch management down here because that's generally somebody's job function, right? So we're going to group it up to make sense to an actual sysadmin. Uh, 